FTV Turkish. The rain's coming down now to make things worse on a very poor, I just have to say, the worst performance of the season by Arsenal. Well, defensively anyway, it was terrible. Yeah, worst performance, defensive to attack. Um, we didn't create many chances. Southampton deserved the win. I think mm. it's a bit of reality check for Emery. Um, but funny enough, when, they, when Southampton scored their goal, we were so on top. Um, they looked absolutely knackered, Southampton. We were just, you know, we were just at them, at them, at them. But they just break away down the other end. I mean, all their goals really were just so simple. Yeah, we, we, we was at them, but how many clear chances did we really create? Like I said, Southampton deserved that win. Yes, we applied the pressure. And I did mention on Supporters Club, what happens when the substitutions don't impact the game like they have been for the last 21? Mm. And we've seen today, and we look at the starting lineup. Um, I agree with Aaron Xhaka shouldn't have started in the middle. Um, in the middle of defence? Middle of defence, yeah, it didn't make mm. sense. He can't turn... He, he looked totally out of place, didn't he? He can't turn a whole one... He can't turn one direction. He's only got one direction in him. So when you play in the centre of the defence, I don't know why Koscielny was to the right of him. Koscielny is the actual centre back we got. Why isn't he in the centre? Mm. Why isn't Monreal in the centre? Why isn't Maitland Niles on the, on, as a wing back? That's what I would have done. But mm. again, we can't, we can't like, get onto Emery too much, innit? Because he's done well, he's getting the, the most out of these players. But it's a quality issue as well at the end of the mm. day. Like, does, it, does, it, does a game like today show. <laughs> the Southampton fan really happy there about Charlie Austin. But does, does it show us that, you know, we need a better squad? Yep. Because we've got a few injuries to a couple of centre backs, and all of a sudden. The defence is all over the place, which, to be fair, it hasn't looked all over the place in recent times. Yeah, 100%. We need a centre-back, we need a winger, and we probably need a box-to-box -box centre mid now as well. I don't agree with starting Xhaka, Terreira and Gwendozi because it lacks creativity. They're mm. all pretty much deep-lying, so I feel like he got that wrong. I, I would have brought Ramsey on as well. Because mm. my issue with Ozil, yeah, and, I, and people always get on to me about it, like, we... We shoot ourselves in the foot. We can't be comparing Ozil to Hazard, to Salah, to these players here. He's not that player. He's not going to come on in the game and change the game. He's not going to do it. If we can't start Ozil away at Bournemouth, if we can't start him or give him any minutes, why the fuck are we bringing him on against Southampton, worse weather, to change the game? He is not that player. And a few people have said it. It's time to move on from him, in my opinion, because Emery's bringing a dynamic, energetic um, structure in place, and, and Ozil doesn't suit that. Ram Ramsey should have come on today. I feel like Ramsey would have been better placed at 2-2 to come on. Look at the third goal, a, a dummy from Ozil lost the mm. ball we're not man city Ozil. we're not like you don't come on and do dummies come on take ownership of the ball i don't want to see you letting the ball go through your legs take ownership of it because we brought you on to change the game laka come on and done his thing again he got he got an assist he was putting himself about i feel like laka deserves the starting spot up front but again i'd play it to two up top listen there's some decisions to be made we're going into a tight period we've got a league cup next in my opinion based off our last two performances huddersfield and today southampton Fuck the Carling Cup. Yes, we're playing Tottenham and it's damage limitations. I'd, I'd, I'd do a mix of maybe playing and a sacker in there. Uh, maybe you, Against Tottenham? Yeah, against Tottenham because what is the League Cup to us? What is do the you, League Cup Do you want to go into a game like that and then suffer a heavy defeat, say, for instance, at home? That That's not going to be good for morale going forward as well, is it? But listen, th th that's... I don't expect a heavy defeat, even if we change up the team with, with Emery's structure in We've place. We've done that before one time under Wenger, went there. One. Yeah, but I mean, Wenger. it's that's a bit, yeah, but that's a big game on, even though I hear what you're saying, but it's against Tottenham and we want to, surely it's the best way to try and bounce back for this team to go and get a good win against Tottenham and get everybody pumped up again, well, the, get that run going again. But the last win against Tottenham, you would have thought that, that would pump us up but since then our form has been indifferent like it was just before Tottenham so it's we can hope that we beat Tottenham and get galvanised again and move forward and, and start winning games again but my priority is trying to get top four and Europa League the League Cup is not a priority and I wouldn't play Oba Laka I'll give them a week off and yeah move forward like that because Brighton what was it next Burnley at home and Brighton Burnley at home, yeah. Burnley at home Brighton away Liverpool away we need at least six points from them three games